It's a multifactorial issue. Misinformation that often starts in the public eye because of a clickbait headline or because of um, a very loud social media presence who is maybe saying things that they have no business saying, but then it feeds back into the actual science behind consumer products and they're demanding new raw materials or a state is banning a certain chemical that's an important solvent and manufacturers are being told, well, you need to figure out how to formulate this substance without these ingredients and they're doing it to satisfy consumer demand or policy-based measures that are not based in fact. What ends up happening is it legitimizes the misinformation. So then it propagates across social media, across public perception. It becomes this balancing act and an obligation of really everyone that is involved in any sort of consumer product, which is really every industry, to help overcome these challenges of misinformation and use these opportunities as teachable moments like yeah i mean we can say this is free from whatever but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be a superior product we can say that it's all natural ingredients but that doesn't inherently mean that it's going to be more sustainable or safer or better or any of these you know phrases that are often used as marketing buzzwords but we know that they don't have basis in science